Hello children. Today we are going to solve the remaining exercises of chapter number 4, Nouns Number. Yesterday we have talked about uh, nouns and the numbers singular and plural nouns. We have discussed the definitions and examples. So today we will going to solve this exercises and after that in this video we will also discuss noun case. First is nominative case and second is objective or accusative case. So let us start this video and we are going to solve the exercises. Going to solve the exercises. Exercise number B. Read the following sentences and change the nouns printed in bold to their plural form. Make any other changes if required. So, we are going to start the first one. The lady told the child an interesting tale. Here you can find child is a singular form and the tale is also a singular form. So, we have to change accordingly. So, first we are going to write... The lady told the children interesting tales. So here we have removed an because it is used only in the singular words so we have just removed this and we written over here the lady told the children interesting tales now we are going to the next jagran's answer was not correct here you can see jagran's answers so we have to change it Jagaran answers because it become plural so we are going to use in the place of was we are going to use were Jagaran's answers were not correct so this way we will complete the exercise now Next, the old house is made of stone. Now here we can write only the old house is made of stone. Now here we have to change in plural old house and stone. So stone is always remain in plural and singular. We used to write stone. So we are going to change only the old houses because we have written in how old houses so in place of is we are going to use are the old houses are made of stone This knife is quite sharp. So now we have to change here knife in plural form. So we are going to write it. These knives are quite sharp. The war heroes were given a standing ovation. So here we are going to write the war hero was given a standing ovation. Mathematics requires much practice. 
mathematics is a subject so it is not going to change into singular form or plural form so it will remain same so this exercise is not going to change anything the third one is the there are dozens of eggs kept in the basket so there is dozen of eggs kept in the baskets next one the daughters in law prepared dinner for the guests the daughter in law prepared dinner for guests next one that the commanders in chief gave orders to the soldiers so here you can see commanders in chief so we have to change it the commander in chief gave orders gave order you can write orders also to the soldiers the these cactus grow very slowly cacti is a plural form of cactus this cactus grows very slowly the diaries were given to the children now here you can write the diary was given to the children or here you can change you can write child she went to the dentist to get her teeth extracted she went to the dentist to get her tooth extracted the singular form of the teeth is tooth paper should not be wasted so paper we used to write in the plural form and the singular form because because it is a material now so we are not going to change in this so we will write same now 10th is i kept a dozen gift wrapping sheets in the drawer so here we can write in the singular form i kept a dozen it is correct i kept a dozen gift wrapping sheets in the drawer so slightly change we will find in the sheets so i think it is correct
next exercise is D. Use the correct word from brackets to fill in the blanks. So now here we are going to use is or are. The first one is the news dash disheartening. So here we are going to use the news is considered as a singular. So we are going to write is the police dash chasing the thieves. The police we should write in the plural form. So the chill police are chasing the thieves. The scissors kept in the drawer. The scissors is also considered as plural. So we are going to write are the trousers washed and ironed. So trousers is considered as plural. The trousers are washed and ironed. The furniture is is kept in the adjust room. Now diagnosis diagnosis is or are. So we have to write because it is written diagnosis. So it is plural form. The singular form is diagnosis. So we are going to write R here. Wood is material noun. See it is considered as singular. So we are going to write is toots are added to other letters to form the words abstract. So now it is also plural. So complete it. Now let's start. Next exercise. Fill in the blanks with plural form of nouns given in the brackets. All the girls receive their new dash for the function. So here we are going to write in the plural form dresses. There are many metropolitan dash in India. Cities in India. One of the volcano in Java erupted. So here we are going to write volcanoes. The dash were full of books. The shelves were full of books. The, the clicked, they clicked a lot of photos. Photos during their visit to Singapore. Earlier, they were very few dash women lawyers in the Supreme Court. So we are going to write women lawyers. Next is I kept all the dash in the cupboard. So here we have to change in the album. Albums. Next is Rohan spotted many dash in the forest. So we have to write mongooses. In the forest. Now let's move to the next exercise. Solve this puzzle with the help of clues given below. We are going to write this. In this exercise we have to write down and across. The first is down, singular of horses. So it is horse. Plural of deer. So it is remains same. So it is deer. Third is plural of story. Stories. Fourth is plural of valley. Valleys. Plural of sheep is always remain same. So we will write sheep. And across we have to write singular of children is child. Plural of roof is roofs. Eighth is plural of thief is thieves. Ninth is plural of hero heroes and tenth is plural of 
echo echoes so we will complete this in this way after completing all the exercises of this chapter we have to remember the things before going to end this chapter we generally add as or es as suffixes to the noun example windows fishes nouns ending in a hissing sound s s s c h s h and x add es to the singular form for example bus buses his hisses box boxes bunch bunches now third is most nouns ending in f or fe form their plurals by changing the f or fe into ves half become halves shelf become shelves some nouns ending in f uh, form their plural in the normal way hoof hoofs roof roofs now the next point is most nouns ending in o form their plural by adding es to the singular if for example tomatoes tomato tomatoes potato potatoes the next is if a noun ends with the y and the y has a consonant before it its plural is formed by changing the y into ies like sky skies fly flies however if it is ending with a vowel plus y its plural is formed by adding s to it joy joys now next one is some nouns form their plural by changing the vowel inside or vowels of uh, the singular form like food feet tooth teeth exemptions are child children ox and oxen short caesars spectacles spectacles are used in the plural form mathematics politics news and innings appears to be plural but they are singular cattle and people appear to be singular but they are plural abstract nouns are not countable and have no plural form material nouns are not countable they are used only in the singular form so these points we have to remember always once again we are going to revise this chapter chapter number 4 properties of nouns so here you can see the properties of nouns are singular and plural singular as you all know only one and plural is denotes for two or more rule number 1 most nouns form the plural by adding s to the singular noun lecture lectures book books tree trees thing things board boards rule number 2 nouns ending in y preceded by a consonant form the plural by changing y to i and adding es now here you can see some examples lily lilies lady ladies baby babies fairy fairies berry berries in rule number 3 nouns ending in s x z ch and sh form the plural by adding es box boxes church churches bus buses bus buses match matches the examples are given over here now rule number 4 nouns ending a uh, o preceded by a consonant generally form the plural by es to the singular so tomato is tomatoes potato is potato rule number 5 some nouns form the plural by changing f or fe to ves so always remember when the noun is ends with letter f so we will transform into ves in the plural form so calf calves half halves knife knives wife wives loaf loaves rule number 6 
a few nouns have the same form in the singular and plural this we have to remember all the time because it is very important deer always remain same in deer swine is always remain same in plural apparatus apparatus always remain same in plural nose nose chinese and chinese now rule number 7 is a few nouns form the plural by changing the word now here you can see some slightly change can make a plural so now tooth become teeth mouse become mice child become children man become man foot become feet so this we have to remember always rule number 8 compound nouns form the plural by adding s to the important words now here you can see father in law fathers in law passer by passers by editor in chief editors in chief now rule number 9 is common nouns is full form the plural by adding s cup full cup fulls spoonful spoonfuls the rule number 10 is the plural of numbers and letters is formed by adding s to the singular So six is six, T is T's, one is ones, S is S, twenty three is twenty threes. So this way, we remember all the things because it is very important to form singular to plural and plural to singular. Now let's talk about case, noun case. a noun may be used as a subject or object of a verb or to show possession so we say that the noun is in the nominative objective and possessive case respectively so let us discuss this is in detail so now here you can see nominative objective and possessive in this slide you can see subject of verb is nominative and object is the object objective and ownership where we have to show the noun is going to show the ownership that become possessive first of all we will discuss nominative case when a noun is used as the subject of a verb it is said to be in nominative case for example rita played basketball so here you can see rita is a nominative or you can say the uh, proper noun now here the sonia bought a gold ring sonia the dog killed the mouse the mobile was lost by prakash to so rita the dog sonia and the mobile are subject of the verbs played killed bought and was lost respectively they are the therefore said to be the nominative case now here you can see a noun is in the nominative case when it is the subject of the verb beth and any collect stamps james in the eldest in the four children so this is rule number 1 now rule number 2 of nominative cases a predicate nominative comes after a linking verb here you can see in the examples the girl was my sister now here the linking verb is my and sister the tennis players are ray and herald was my here you can see was is a linking verb and my sister is there so it is a predicate nominative comes after a linking verb the tennis players are ray and herald the figure in white was myla so this way we can recognize where is the nominative predicate nominative so rule number 1 of the second uh, case is objective or accusative so here we are talking about objective when a noun is used as the object of a verb it is said to be in the objective or accusative 
केस फॉर एग्जाम्पल द मैन हिट्स द डोर जानवी पेंट्स अ पॉट द डोर एंड अ पॉट आर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द वर्ब हिट्स एंड पेंट्स रिस्पेक्टिवली दे आर देयर फोर सेट टू बी इन द ऑब्जेक्टिव और एक्यूसेटिव केस टू फाइंड आउट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द वर्ब वी पुट वॉट और होम आफ्टर इट इन सेंटेंस द मैन हिट्स वॉट द डोर सो द डोर इज द ऑब्जेक्ट सो दिस वे वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव केस अ नाउन इज इन नाउ रूल नंबर टू फॉर एब्जेक्टिव केस अ नाउन इज इन द ऑब्जेक्टिव केस वेन इट्स यूज एज ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द प्रिपोजिशन द एग्जाम्पल इज गिवेन ओवर हेयर वी ट्रेवल थ्रू माइंड जाने The gift came from the teacher. The children went with Mary and Annie. Now here you can see the object of the preposition is used over here. Rule number three is a noun is in the objective case when it is used as an indirect object of the verb. Father bought my brother a new car. The teacher gave the students another chance. The hostess invited Peter to the party. Now here you can see. it is used as a as an indirect object of the verb rule number 4 of objective cases a noun is in the objective case when it is used as a subject of an infinitive so donna asked megul to teach her the new dance steps ella requested mary to sing now here you can see it is used as a subject of of an infinitive rule number 5 of objective cases a noun is in the objective case when it is used as an object of the infinitive donna asked megul to teach lisa the new dance step ella requested mary to sing the song rule number 6 a noun is in the objective case when it is used in a objective complement they call my baby gap the priest baptized his gabriel yan now here it is used as an in this exercise which is in chapter number 5 nouns case the a exercise read the sentences given below and pick out nouns in the nominative case now here you already know what are the nominative case so first is the sun sets in the west second the mall was full of people third kolkata stand on the hogli varun met a deaf beggar tanuj has lost his wallet ritu broke the glass the answer is correct meeta ate a ball of pudding now here you can see if you ask who or what before a verb you will clearly know the subject of the verb here we have to find the subject of the verb now the in the first exercise you can see the sun the sun is a subject of a verb the sun in second the mall was full of people what is full of people the mall so this is nominative case kolkata stands on hogli who stands on hogli kolkata varun met a deaf beggar who met a deaf beggar varun tanuj has lost his wallet who lost his wallet and here you can see tanuj lost was lost his wallet fourth ritu broke the glass who broke the glass ritu broke the glass so this is the subject of this sentence so it become nominative case the answer is correct what is correct the answer is correct so here you can see this is the subject of the this sentence meeta ate a bowl of pudding who ate a bowl of pudding meeta meeta is a nominative case 
so this way we can solve the exercises for example we can see the ki the dog killed the mouse the mobile was lost by prakash rita played basketball sonia bought a gold ring so rita the dog sonia and the mobile are subject of the verb played killed bought and was lost respectively they are therefore said to be in the nominative case so here you can see the sun kolkata varun tanuj the mall ritu the answer meeta are nominative case in the in these sentences tomorrow we will solve objective or accusative case and after discussing uh, the main concept of the objective or accusative accusative case so we will solve tomorrow so that's all for today have a good day